Hello. Today I published Lincolnshire Police's Force Management Statement, and I felt it was really important to give some context as to what that statement contains and what it means. Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabulary have asked every force in the country to produce a force management statement, which is essentially my view of the demands and strains on policing in Lincolnshire and the things that we will have to meet over the next three to four years. Contained within the statement is an articulation of our position around budget and some of the real pressures that I will be facing in the next three years around our financial position. Unlike some areas of the public sector, the police service cannot run with a deficit or a debt on its budget. So I must ensure that what I'm spending meets what I'm able to bring in through central government grant and locally raised council tax. We have had a number of promises from central government over recent years around a safer level of funding for Lincolnshire. Unfortunately, as I stand here today, we have no extra cash coming towards us, which means I have to set out a budget plan that will meet significant reductions over the next three years. For example, next year I'm looking at £3.5 million needing to be found for my revenue costs, and in the further year, a further £6.5 million. Clearly that's a very difficult thing for me to do and for the organisation to absorb without it impacting on services to the public of Lincolnshire. And I'm afraid that if I have to make these cuts, then you will see a significant reduction in the kinds of things that you expect your local police to be able to deliver. My absolute commitment with the Commissioner is to fight hard on behalf of Lincolnshire Police and the public of Lincolnshire to get a safer level of funding. But in the meantime, I must present a balanced budget. Some of what the report contains articulates the way in which I will try and do that. It looks like reductions of police officers, PCSOs, police staff, and putting pressure on our contract with our strategic partner, G4S, to reduce some of the services that they provide and bring our costs down. It's a very difficult situation to be in, but clearly it's one that I will work hard to try and mitigate and resolve in the months ahead. In the meantime, I will also be continuing to invest in things to keep the organisation moving. That may be even more necessary if I find myself having to reduce staff numbers. Things such as replacing vehicles and investment in technology will have to continue if I'm, if I'm to make the organisation as efficient and effective as possible. I understand this is a difficult message for everyone to hear. It's not one that we move into by choice, but if we have to meet these budget savings, then significant reductions, unfortunately, will follow. Hopefully I can respond to as many questions as possible and be as open as possible about the impact that this will have. But I will definitely be trying my level best to reduce that through continuing discussions with central government. Thank you.